Ebusunya, there's a story trending on social media for almost a week now. Ah, me hunu said there is so much in it. I was say you cause war, you busunya, you yefa embwa, you busunya. A branch here be your friend or Edward Boache Saki. Ah, me ne work as he no. We wu we film. Me ni na ye eh chine debi a cause between or no Edward no any one guy a friend or Godwin on campus about say whose father was rich and whose father was poor. Now this is a very sad news we never pray for sad things to happen now nah, nobody also in ghana has the right of taking anybody's life and this issue came up as a shock say oba aku school on himself oka kusi adie ne e frewa ye say ba no ya wono se kan ekunu ya wono se kan ba ko ba ko miensa ekunu u bi say say e ba ne se ya yesu o eh they were arguing boys boys argument ke it me a resort to in the fact say ba ko ti nya fa se kan a wo ni nia Ekunu at the spot. Now this issue, as I said, came up as a shock, and many of the viewers said the school authorities had to be blamed. Say, ometi mi ama kwa yama sa in same way na akoso because the busiya you bear with me. Say in our schools right now there are so many mishappenings in the schools. Sir, parents are not very much aware about because there are a couple of videos I can show you of what students are doing on campus. Asa omosa and promote ni we omoshe a whole lot. When they come home, they are different. When they get to school, you know, that's where they meet, they are made. You know, people to say the school authorities are to be blamed for this mishappenings on school campuses. Now, many are also the view say the parents are rather to be blamed because they should have trained their child the way they should go. It, you know, they believe that some families allow their children to do whatever they want to do, and this case grows up like that and they become nuisance to society. Now, issue a C Menu Kasi Edward Boachi Ewe at the spot, Crampo and Sana Yedini Drew. The nearest hospital in Accra. Now, I drink twelve way in our air no. A bit so chere, I drink say this is a spiritual issue. Ah, a branch in our war, Saki, Sekino, or a demonically possessed. No human being, a watima, bit match, Sekai, a woman, young person, no kunsa, just for saying, say, his father is richer than your father. The subject of the young man who has been tragically stabbed by his classmates at O'Reilly Secondary School. Stop unleashing your demon children on the rest of us. No, no. Look, this week, I had planned to not shoot any content. To be honest, because while well, I am tired, I've been in hospital, I've had all sorts of things thrown at me that I'm juggling and battling and dealing with in my personal life. So if you will observe, you would notice that in the last two or three weeks, I really haven't shot that much content because I'm dealing with my life. But this story has me in my feelings. Hey! Stop unleashing your demon children onto the rest of us. In fact, stop raising demons in your homes. When you are given children, eh? When you are given children, you as a parent, it is your responsibility to discipline the child, teach the child good from evil, like raise the child. You people are breeding. You're not raising children. You're breeding demons and monsters in your homes. And you're unleashing them. On Somebody has looked after his son until the son is in final year. For your son to come and stab him three times over something as trivial as an argument over wealth, what the hell no seriously what's the hell how you know i was telling this morning on our way to work look i've been boiling since i heard the story and i was telling al i said you know what years ago i remember and this is a funny story this what has happened is not funny but 
meka akosi asem so you know years ago there was this ad charlie how charlie fresh charlie how charlie fresh who one morning i was driving years ago i was driving through the nungwa teshi area and that ad had become like a it was quite popular back then and there was a group of kids walking in uniform they were wearing the kukuntik and katie you know the brown the brown and brown brown and beige whatever that uniform is they were walking group of them like four kids were walking to school i'm assuming now whenever they met another child who wasn't part of the group they'd shout charlie how and then the child would shout charlie fresh and then they'll keep it moving i was sitting in traffic so i was observing them charlie how charlie fresh every child they would meet charlie how charlie fresh cool then they met this one child and they all did the chale how and the child didn't say anything they said it again chale how the child didn't say anything then one of them said oh papa best can you better live in your shame i mean <laughs> yeah it's funny okay that basically means oh your father doesn't have money you don't have television in your house could be true could be false could just be that this child's father wasn't allowing him to watch tv he wasn't yeah but these children basically just said oh 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 papa beshka nyebe television ya shiami now the child who hadn't responded the charlie fresh who was being told that they don't have money in their house started to cry legit he started to cry but then he walked on and these kids were laughing blah 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 you know so I stopped them, the kids who had done that, and I said, "Afi na kai." No ni nyake fe gbe ke ehi. I so I stopped them and I told them basically, "You don't do that. You don't live like that. You don't tell people they are poor and these things. Like you are privileged enough to watch TV." You know, I had a good talking to them and then I gave them some money and I went my merry way. Okay. Why am I telling you people this story? That child who broke down and cried could have started to fight which is very likely how this boy lost his life a conversation and i don't know if that's the truth but whatever a conversation about whose father has wealth or who's wealthy or whatever it is degenerated into an argument further degenerated into a fight an altercation where he was stabbed and Ooh. and you people want to blame the teachers as parents do you not have any responsibility to the raising of your children you want to blame teachers yes the teachers have a responsibility when you take your kids to school yes you expect that the teachers will be responsible for them but how about the children that you yourself are raising who raised that brat to know that he should pull knife or whatever it is he pulled who raised that that demon child that child must be tried as an adult and sent to he must be incarcerated he needs to end up with hard labor because you see you parents are raising these irresponsible children who do not know that there are consequences for actions this child you see you people do this thing oh your child will throw a tantrum oh <laughs> coffee yes i not you <laughs> no no so then you don't correct the child your child will go and hit somebody Oh, Kofi, instead of you hitting the child and telling the child, don't hit people. Oh, Kofi, there is no way to do it. He, 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 he. Your child will misbehave in school. You will get called. Instead of correcting the child, Oh, ni amale bo lele. Na kai amayo. Amale da chui cry. Na kai amayo this these children that you're raising this is what they will do because you are not teaching them that there are consequences for their actions because you are not teaching them right from wrong 
If your child has mental issues, take your child to a mental hospital because some of the anger that some of these kids have is mental, is colonies. They are not. Do you understand? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a in Chumbe. Ah! The way raising children is hard in this country. You have managed to raise your child to final year for somebody's evil spawn to stab him three times in the chest. My God. My heart goes out to the parents of the boy who has passed. Look, my heart goes out to them. I, I can't begin. But to the parents of the boy who stabbed, shame on you all. Shame on you all for raising this thing and unleashing him onto the rest of society shame on you all i really hope that this boy will be tried like an adult and sentenced like an adult and giving the maximum sentence there is because nothing i don't care who says what nothing can justify nothing can justify why as a student of a school in an argument with your peer your response is to pull a sharp object and stab him to death shame on you parents of course the teachers the all of the other adults who were there who did not do anything all of them must be held accountable all of them must you know pay for whatever and but the buck stops with the parents of that child and so i say again either raise your children right in love i'm not saying go and beat, beat your children by heart but yes, yes sometimes children need to be beat ultimately children need to be raised and disciplined and brought up to live in a society because they are going to go out there and deal with other people and so please like i said if you think that your child needs mental evaluation take them to asylum if you think that what your child needs is beating, beat them. If you think that your child needs to be sent into the army to be disciplined because you, as a parent, cannot do it, please reach out to the Ghana Armed Forces. I'm sure that they have ways that they can help you. But stop unleashing these things onto the rest of society. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and I know, sir, you also have an opinion. Let me know your opinion by just commenting so we know how you also feel about this news. Then again, to I'd like you to subscribe to our page, press on the bell, send me a plug.